All right. If not go into your RSA calendar. It should be right there. Okay, so without further ado, we are going to kick this off here. Just a reminder, Thursday, Rocco's Tacos, the Tacos of the Rocco's, is, uh, is going to be happening. Uh, we're doing our um, Orlando mixer, holiday mixer at Rocco's Tacos starting at what time, Freddie? Four? Three? Um, I think it's Two. four to six, right? Four to six? Yeah, I think so. Four to six, so don't be late. And then next week, we're on the 14th. So you guys can go to any. You can go to all. You can join us, have some fun. Um, we're also going to be down on the 14th down in Nicomas. Um, You do have to RSVP. Um, and then on the 16th, we are going to be in St. Pete, Tampa, St. Pete, um, with an agent mixer. And right. for those of you that are interested, I will be posting it on our Facebook page and I'll send you, and I'll, you're going to be seeing the emails come across today. So just uh, RSVP on which event you want to attend or any of the events that you want to attend or all. And, uh, and I'll see you there. All right. And it's a, it's a plus one. So you can bring whoever you want. All right. I'm going to bring my girlfriend. Is that okay, honey? Me too. All right. Um, all right, so, 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 so. All right, Google my business, Google my business. Okay, so everyone here have a Google account? It's hard to set up your Google my business without a Google, Google account. Darn near impossible. So first step is set up a Google account. It's free. The price is right. All right, and please unmute your... Mike, unless you got some noise going on in the background, I want this to be a conversation, not a lecture. All right, so, um, all right, so right here, you see this? You're looking at my my email right now, right? At least my old email. Yes. All right, I like it. Interaction. Okay, so see where it says business profile. All right, we're gonna. You click on that, and that will take you to my Google Business Profile Manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can download, there is an app. You can download the app on your phone, take pictures with your phone, upload it, right? And maybe you all have heard this. Maybe this is a repeat. Maybe this is brand new information, but you want it like 70 30, right? So 70% business, 30% personal right? Who are you? Why should they do business with you? What type of person are you? I've had people stalk me on social media, YouTube. And, um, <laughs> they're like, you're, 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 you're just how you talk is how you are. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. That's, that's how I am. You know? Um, so that was, that was good. I, I had a client recently that, um, Shelly was her name and we helped her, uh, get a property in Deland and, uh, she like watched 90% of my content on YouTube and it's like 150 videos. So, and she looked at my TikTok and she was on my Facebook and this and that. She just really wanted to know me and I'm like, cool, I got a stalker. This is great. Um, okay. So this is, this is the back end. Okay. Hey, hey, Jeremy, when you say open a Google account, what does that actually mean? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, ooh, admit. Okay. So let's, let's start this from the beginning here. Okay. So go to gmail.com. Okay, it's just gonna log me into one of my Gmails. Well, let me give you, let me, let me start by giving you kind of what it looks like and then we'll go through like how to set it up, right? How's that sound, Freddie? Yep, thanks. Okay. All right. So, and you want it to be some kind of combination of your name. Okay. So if, if somebody Googles Jeremy and Janice Porter, right, 
um, this is what's going to come up. We have we have video testimonials on the left here, on the right. We got we got this loveliness over here. We got the Google reviews. I thought we had 23. Maybe someone took one back. Um, but we got the Google reviews, you know, because what's going to happen, right? Somebody's going to say, oh, you know, I heard uh, Janice and Jeremy Porter do a great job. Oh, okay. Well, what are they about, right? Let me let me Google them, right? Now everyone's obsessed with Googling people, right? And this is my home address. If you want to send me a pumpkin or a Christmas tree or something like that, that's where you send it to. Okay, that's not the office address because I want my business to come from winter garden area in a perfect world, right? And I actually have set office hours. I don't have open 24 seven. And that annoys me when I see that because I'm like, I'm gonna call you at 3 a.m. And if you don't can't if you don't answer or you get mad at me when I call you at 3 a.m. to say, hey, I want to talk real estate, then you need to fix this. Okay, so I have the hours that you would prefer to work. I was talking to an agent yesterday and she was like, you know, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You know, I have this around um, I do I do Taekwondo, right? And crowd maga. So I have this around those things at, at night when I'm not available and when I'm going to be doing something else and I don't want you to call me, you know, I have uh, specific hours, right? So make sure you set up your hours, make sure you got, you know, you're, you're getting the reviews, right? So you, you close with a person, you send out an invite, you could do this right from your app. All right. Let's see what it looks like in here. Okay. What happens if so, you don't like the review? The guts get you totally off guard or something. Can you delete them or is it just? You just have to kill it with kindness, basically. Um, you have to just keep on, you know. And to me, like, if you if you don't, if you have like this, to me, like, uh, it's a fluff piece, right? All five stars. I kind of wish I had somebody who gave me like four stars or or something like that, right? It would make it look more real. Right, you're looking at this and be like, "Oh, it's probably all of his friends and relatives and stuff like that." I wish I can't get my mom or dad to comment on here at all. <laughs> like, come on, mom, want me to come home for I Christmas? What I suggest, John, is if you do get some type of a bad review or negative, um, I would try to turn a positive spin on it and definitely reply. Don't leave it alone, uh, and say, "Hey, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to you or." let me know what I could do better or something like that. Um, but I would definitely not leave it alone. Makes if sense. I mean, there's always, there's always some kind of, you could be great to 99% of the people and then something happened after they moved in that the home inspector that you recommended didn't catch and all of a sudden you're the bad guy and they just take it out in the review. You know, I've seen it before. We're always the bad guy. We're the orchestra of the band. So if something comes out wrong in a transaction, it typically falls on us. Um, that's inevitable, uh, even though it might not be within your control. Uh, I, but go ahead, Sabina. I think Sabina wants to add something to it. My dogs were quiet for a second. <laughs> of course. Um, so I have a Google account and when I moved, I had my uh, girl who created it change the, um, the address of the business from Illinois to here and they suspended my account. Do you know how to fix that? Um, you probably just need to, to get it verified. Okay. Okay. Because they, so they when you Google, if you Google with the Nicomas address, could you not do that? Um, uh, and it comes up for that previous the porterhouse, and it's Google reviews for that place. Okay, so what? So what I don't know if the address is the issue. No, no, I'll, I'll jump in on this one, Jeremy. So, in regards to the office address, it is still listed under Palmer House. It's also listed under HomeSmart. Right. Um, and that's because we haven't officially closed Palmer House in Florida yet. But it's um, taking the reviews. So if you Google me and you find me under, I wanna say if you, yeah, Google me. 
Well, that's all going to change in the first quarter of the year, Sabina. Um, when we finish doing the build out at the office and things like that, um, everything will be straightened out and Palmer House will be no longer existing in Florida, even though we own, we own Palmer House. So at the end what of the day, I heard from what I was told is you can't have the same address as everybody else, unless I'm wrong. You are so wrong. Um, okay. Because if you if you type in like Home Smart Orlando, you can uh, do we, the Gomez too, and it'll it'll pop up. So if you go, where's the map? Is that address the same as you have on your account? No, I got I got my my personal. So this is my home address right here. Okay, that that could be the difference. Okay, but 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 I, I was part of Cobalt Banker, and there was like <laughs> like 20, 30 people had the same address. And you, you know? still had your own site. Yeah, and it was like a bunch of people down that road, and and that's part of the reason I started using my home address because if you if you uh, I'm trying to think like where's the map feature? If you look at it's it's up top. Okay. Oh, okay. So if you look at the map, you can see like others who have, who have a verified location as well at that same address with a different name. Mm. Okay. So just reach out, reach out to, um, to Google. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was, I was kind of upset because I had reviews on there and they're gone right now. They, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they, they will still be there. It's just, you know, that you got to get, you got to get re-verified. Okay. You can't, you can't just pick up your business and move it. And, and we've done it multiple times, right? Cause we, uh, we're with home smart and, and I'm not sure if we had it in play at that time. And then we made a foolish move and moved to a uh, Cobalt banker and then realized our, the error of our ways and moved back to home smart. And so we had an address on, Sand Lake when we were with Cobalt Banker and then we moved back and then just put it as our home address. And it was like our our thing blew up because it was like we had 1500 reviews per month or not reviews, 1500 views per month. Um, and then it went to like 5,000 or something like that. Okay. So, um, cause there was just no, no other real estate companies in that, in that area, right? Okay, I shall contact them. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Any other questions before we move on? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Jennifer says you made the smart move, Jeremy. Yeah, I did. Okay, so again, the, you know, this is the kind of the basics of what it should look like w when it's done, when it's up and running, right? You got your company logo there, you got, you know, uh, a main profile picture that, um, you know, stays. This is less than ideal because it says see outside and this must have been more than four or five years ago because it's just a, a vacant lot, right? <laughs> that's, that's a little sketch right there. Um, <laughs> so um yeah can't fix that because we'd have to change the location um again the hours don't just put 24 7 right put where people will call you and you'll actually answer your phone right okay you know phone number this is not my actual cell phone number this is through follow a boss and that just comes to my to my cell phone okay and then like a social media profile you want to feed this daily. Okay. You want to post every single day. Okay. And again, not just, not just business, but, and there's different things, right? So this is home buying. This is products, right? So this is home buying and then you have home selling. Okay. So you can click on this and then you can put like little comments and stuff like that. Let's go back. So you see where it says products Here, let me go back. I'm sorry. I'm jumping all over the place products right here. Okay. 
view all. So we got, you know, home buying, home selling. So did you put those products in there? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So these these are all posts that either recreated or we got from Agent by Design or we copied off of somebody else because we thought it looked cool and we made it in Canva. Thanks for that info because I never had anything under products. I'm like, well, I'm not selling a product, but I guess that makes sense. You could talk about your exclusive buyer's representation. Uh -huh. Right. Like what you do for buyers, people, people don't even know, right. They think, oh, you just write up an offer and open a door. That's what most people think we do. Right. Then your they're like, your product is your service. Right. Yeah, right. And that the, makes sense. I like that idea. Thanks. You know, so, you know, home selling, right. You could put, you know, again, like this true or false here on the left is with um, agent by design. We just, we just copied and pasted. Right. Uh, testimonials. That's a new one on me. Do you guys know what agent by design is? Cricket. You want to throw, want to throw a quick plug, quick plug in there, Jeremy, for agent by design, Michael? Okay. Agent by design is a brilliant, beautiful. So agent by design co.com. Okay. Is, um, you can get all your social media content. Okay, so let me go to their homepage real quick. So before this, we probably spend at least an hour to an hour and a half a day just creating something in Canva um, to, to post. And they rotate through different things, um, different uh, social media posts and, and whatnot, like inspirational and first time home buyer and you know, yada, yada. Um, so it's not all the same. And sometimes you need to you need to personalize it, you know. So, like you know, by putting maybe copying one of your testimonials and kind of putting it in there. But they give you um, the nice thing is they give you all of the um, the content, right? All you need to do is subscribe to it. You can have it auto post. We do not um, because of all the different. You know, there, there's a limit to you know kind of. Um, what you can you can have them do as far as like you know how many facebook pages and between janice and i we have like be, with our business facebook pages and everything like that like we we have a lot so it's it's basically too much for this so we just you know go and post it by ourselves so and it even gives you the recommended time to post so it's like okay if you're making this post they want you to do it at 1 11 p.m today Okay. And Agent by Design is uh, one of our smart affiliates. Uh, that's Michael Kobik. Kobik, is it Kobik? Did I say his name right? Sure. Michael Zobik. Um, and uh, this is a service that's available to all of you, anyone. Um, and it's, it's 25. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this, the starting price is $25 a month for this. And mm -hmm. then obviously his rates go up depending on how what you want to do and what your purpose is. Um, and how much content you want out there and things like that, but they do everything for you. Okay. And you can just simply right click, copy the image, go over here, copy, paste in your Facebook account. And it's, it's simple. And you can do the same thing with your Google, my business page So go back over to the Google, my business page, copy, paste, done. Super simple. Okay. But and the idea know, is, is to automate. You know, so you save yourself time because this all this stuff takes time. Your social media takes time. So the more you automate, the more time you have to do other things. But as Freddie already knows, you can't automate your Google My Business posting. So you have yep. to do that manually. Correct. Okay. But always have always have an ask, right? Give us a call. Why should they call you? You know, give us a call so we can help. All right. Maybe. Give us a call so we can give you a foreclosure list. You know, something like that. Free foreclosure list, something. Okay, just have an ask. So um, testimonials, right? That's huge. Um, Zillow, right? They're, they're screwing around. They're, they're changing stuff. I had 
150 plus sales on Zillow. And now if you look, I got like 71. It just disappeared, right? So I don't, I don't trust that anymore. I, I focus on getting reviews here on my Google My Business page. Um, they say two, I don't know why, but they say respond to every single post, good or bad. Okay, so somebody posts something, says Jeremy and Janice, they're a power couple, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, right? Shelly, thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure working with you to help you find your home. Even though the job of finding your home and your family is complete, blah, 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 blah. You know, just respond, okay? Any questions about that? Nope, okay, cool. All right, um, the other thing I'm gonna cover is like photos. So if you just wanna post a photo, you're doing a home inspection or something like that, right? Like, again, think of this like a social media account because it is a social media account. That's all it is. Storefront, yeah, that's what this kid over here says. All right, um, and th this stuff on the left, that's just because that's YouTube videos, okay? So the nice thing about YouTube videos, especially shorts, like most of these are just a minute. Um, the nice thing about YouTube videos is you can you can um, tag them. So if you Google Jeremy Porter, if you Google Jeremy and Janice Porter, if you Google uh, Janice Porter, if you Google Janice and Jeremy Porter, so on and so forth, right? Different combinations, you can make that so that this will come up, right? Because one of the first things that come up when you type in our names together is, these videos, and these are all just reviews, right? Look at the time, 58 seconds, 59, 59, one minute, six seconds. Okay, so they're short and sweet. Um, and I did a client appreciation party September 7th? August. August, August 7th. And um, we, hit, we hit people up right then for the, uh, for the reviews, okay? Um, Photos what's, an our, what's a client appreciation party? What's a client appreciation party? It's similar what um, Home Smart does with y'all, right? The little get togethers and everything like that. It's just, um, man, we should have, what we did not do, what we should really do is uh, take the client appreciation party and put it in a video and then put it oh. on the YouTube channel. We just, we just haven't done that yet. So Janice said, okay, I'll do that. So if you don't have a Janice Porter, you need to go out and get one. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so basically- you, So you guys actually held the party for your clients that you've closed before and things like that? Yeah. So we invited every single person that we closed before to our home for like a backyard barbecue. We rented a commercial grade bounce house for $250 for the weekend. My kids were thrilled because they got to play on it all weekend. Um, and it was a water slide and a bounce house, uh, combo. And then we had, a, a pop tent set up, uh, burgers, um, hot dogs, you know, that sort of thing. Some people brought, um, some dishes to pass. We had potato salad and everything like that. Um, and it was like in the backyard as well as in the house. And we had like 50 or 60 people show up. Um, some people canceled the last minute cause they got COVID, uh, six past clients had shown up. And we got, we got their reviews. We asked everybody and they're like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we, we also um, gave them like a little Popeye gift of uh, just, just a little, you know, so it's, it was sunblock and hand sanitizer. And it said, we got your referrals covered, right? But I'm get it covered sunblock hand sanitizer. So anyway, that was, uh, that was that. And um, Jeanette es or Diane Espinosa, who gave us a fantastic video review right here, referred after that party, referred her sister to us, who just closed on a $248,000 townhome. Okay, so you bought a home with Jeremy and Jenny's Porter, right? Yes, I did. All right, and how would you rate their service on a scale from one to ten? Ten. Ten? Yes. Why is that? Uh, we, it was our first home. Uh -huh. We had no idea 
uh, what to do to buy a home. Okay. I'm not going to play the whole thing if you want to, you know, Google Jeremy and Janice Porter and watch the whole thing. Um, I was only asking for like a minute worth of content. She went on for like two and a half minutes. I'm like, I love you so much. So anyway, um, getting way off topic here. Okay, so let's get back to Google My Business. Okay, so I'm going to give you some kind of instruction here. So you have some tools to go and not be like, oh, Jeremy Denise Porter's uh, Google My Business profile is amazing and I'm never gonna do that. So I'm just gonna stop now. Um, so if you're, if you're on your Google account, okay? If you don't have one, please go and set one up. Okay, it's as simple as this. You just go to, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. Maybe this way. Ooh, look at I get to make all these selections. Come on. All right, that's not really working the way I wanted it to. Let's go. Well, hold on, before we get into that, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, before we get into that, I just wanna go through the basics of like editing it, right? So, you know, without me going through the process of setting up a brand new Gmail account, just because um, you just, if you don't have one, set up a Gmail account, super simple, plug in your information, then go to your, your line, nine dots over here, that's what I call it, it's your Google Apps, click on that. Click on business profile. Okay. And you just start going. You just start plugging in all your information. Just go. It's out the way here. Okay. So just go one by one, right? So home, scroll up, down, look for information for content to put in. Okay. The complete business profile, 85%. I'm not even 100% done yet. Logo. Shows up there. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Janice is getting all defensive. Like, I put that in before. I don't know what happened. Okay. Oh, oh. And this is um, I, I, I. Yeah. This is our our new review from two days ago that we have not replied to. So I'm smacking my own hand right now. Bad Jeremy. All right. So we'll reply to that later. Okay. So just go through. Make sure. Everything set up properly, make sure all your information, this is where you add posts, this is where you can view your posts, edit your posts. Went to the gym this morning, I took a selfie when I was walking in, and you don't get to see it apparently. Nope, maybe it's not published yet, okay. But, oh, you know what, I put it under photos, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah two views already check me out hey there you go real estate life all right Kara perry sends out a inspirational quote every monday i just take it and throw it in there let's get back to it so that's just adding photos, right? You got your logo, you got your cover. You wanna keep the cover something quasi-professional, right? Um, that's what everybody's gonna see when they Google you, okay? Your logo, obviously self-explanatory, right? If you don't know where to get one, plug in um, Home Smart logo on Google and then go to images. So, or you can go to RSA and get it there. Yeah, it's available in RSA in your downloads. Right there. Now, be careful if you've taken them off of Google, because if you notice, our franchisees have their logos in there too, like HomeSmart Elite and HomeSmart Cherry Creek. So make okay. sure these, yeah, make sure it's HomeSmart Connect 
you see, so all these are different logos. Uh, I would definitely suggest you go to a real smart agent and use the ones that are approved. If you're not going to do that because you don't know how to do it, then just, just make sure it just says home smart, right? Home smart, real estate made easy. Love that tagline. That's great. All right. Um, let's go back. Okay. So insights. Ooh, what is that? Okay. So post info. Okay. This should be where you fill out all your information, right? Your address, right? Um, different things, real estate agent, home help, uh, manage mortgage broker. Why is that say mortgage broker, mortgage lender for mortgage brokers and mortgage lenders? Let's get that out of here. I mean, I guess we can help we with those services. Though. We have information. That's why those are in there. Of course, of course. Okay, let's keep going. Address, right? Service areas. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, you can't just copy and paste this from your RSA profile, which is totally filled out. It has all your service areas in there. You got to do them one by one. Okay. So just make sure that's accurate. It has all the information in there. Okay, hours, please, 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 please make them realistic. Don't put 24 hours. Nobody likes that. I'm, I'm calling you at 3 a.m. if I see that. Bye, right, Karina. No, she's not here. All right, um, more hours. I don't know what more hours you could add. I guess like if you take a break, like in lunchtime or something. I don't know. I got nothing. Um, phone number, how are they going to reach you? All right. Um, at Jeremy N. Janice home sold guaranteed. Okay, so you can set up like, a, like you, you get a website through this as well, right? Um, that's free, this is all free, price is right. Okay, so services, you put all that information in. Bio, here we go. And I should probably update this because this is just talking about me. Right, not the the Jeremy and Janice. Well, partially it says Jeremy and Janice right here. Um, so yeah, and then open November 6, thousand six. Add photos, right? Insights. So just go one by one, and just make sure, you know, everything's filled out. And this is so. How are people finding you? Right. So direct, right? People who find your business profile searching for your business name or address stalkers all right um 24 percent 24 percent are stalking us that's great uh people who find your business profile by searching for the category product or service uh, 250 not bad and this is the past month so check this out wish i could go back a year Ooh, look at all that looky 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 all right, that's pretty cool. Ooh, look at all this loveliness down here that I've never seen before in my life. I mean, I look at this every day. Customer actions, people call me? Who knew? Oh, they're visiting the website, that's cool. Call you, ooh, I got one call. Nice. So this is not, this is not earth shattering, right? This is not gonna change your business, right? I, I preach it all the time. Um, it will, it will eventually, please don't think me wrong, right? And if you're, if you don't have like, this is like a business card or a website, right? If you're trying to operate in today's real estate land, if you will, and you don't have this set up, that's, that's going to hinder your, your ability to do a business, right? Part of your funnel. Yeah, exactly. All right. So don't just assume like, oh, I just do business by referral. They're going to Google you after they get a referral of your name and number and whatnot. They're going to Google you. Make no mistake. All right. Reviews. This is this is huge. You know, someone can go through and read, you know, set, you know, it's uh, disheartening that it's only 22 <laughs> reviews. Considering there's there's been hundreds of people that we've helped throughout the years, um, but you know I'm grateful for the reviews that we actually have. So okay, yeah, okay, calls, 
I have no idea what this does, but let's click on it. Preview call history. Whoa, what's going on there? Error. Oh, that's fine. Can I go back? All right, yeah. So don't click on calls. It takes you to danger. Just kidding. Partially. Messages. Never clicked on this. I don't know what the, what happens to this. Okay, customers can message you from your business profile on Google search and maps. Ooh. Messaging settings. What is that? Turn on messages. Oh, I have it on. Cool. Send read receipt. Why not? I want them to know when I've read it. All right. So cool. I don't know where that goes, but hey, that's pretty cool. All right. Photos. Again, this should be something you're feeding. Ooh, look, now I got five views on my face. That's awesome. Um, feed this daily, you know, a couple of times a day. Every time you're posting, posting on social media, um, on your Facebook, your Insta, your, uh, your TikTok, your Bebop, your YouTube, like post on here as well. Okay. Products. Why should they contact you? Right? So stick some products in there, right? Get a nice pretty Canva or something, right? Make make something, steal mine, I don't care. Take mine right here, right? Because HomeSmart sold these and got this under contract. Just paste your face over ours right here. We won't be mad. We'll be honored. We'll be like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I can cry right now. Okay. Um, and just stick it on there. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. So this is more like more like the products thing. Okay. Like 11 things you need to know to pass your home inspection. Right. Again, why are they going to contact you? Why are they going to reach out? Hey, Jeremy, we have a question. What yeah. if you don't want your personal address on the Google site? Then don't do that. Put the office address down. It has to be verified and there has to be mail. They're going to mail something to you so you can get the code. Okay. So if you want 710 East Colonial there, it'll come to me. I'll get the code. When it comes through the mail, I'll get your permission to open it up. I'll take a picture of the code and send it to you or just text you the code probably. Does that make sense? I just heard a yes. All right, cool. So services. Products and services to me, kind of all the same. But, um, but yeah, this is not the, the pretty pictures and stuff like that that you can fill out. Okay, so just put in whatever services you can help. I mean, I guess if you can help connect people with it would be endless, right? Like, oh, landscaper. Yeah, well, I'm not going to mow your lawn for you, but I can help you find a landscaper. So, all right, website. Let's check this out. Let's check out this bad boy. I'm going to be so embarrassed if it comes up with Coldwell Banker information on here, <laughs> which it might. I don't think we've edited this recently. Janice? Janice? I don't know. I don't know. Edit we can, yeah. Don't. Um, all right, yeah, we look, we, we put that in there. We don't use that. Yeah, we use our home smart website. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We actually do use our home smart website. Um, so just, you know, it, this all kind of goes in there just from adding content to it. So, Jeremy, how do you, how do you link your home smart website to this? Uh, I don't know how we link our home smart website to this, but this is a separate website altogether. On our website. Like on our Google My Business instead of that one. What's on our Google My Business? The Home Smart website. Oh, you're saying, okay. Yeah. Nothing to do with business, just this little Eskimo standing here smiling right there with uh, my sweater in the background and my backpack on the floor. All right. That's real life. All 
Now your hours. So somewhere, okay, view website. So again, Google My Business gives you your own website. So it's Jeremy and Janice Porter dot business dot site. Okay. So if, if we wanted to actually use this more and send it to people and whatnot, I mean, I don't know why you would, it doesn't have an IDX on it, right? There's no, I mean, it's, it's kind of pretty, but that's because we added the pretty to it. Um, you know, it's got the testimonials on there, right? Got the photos, the photo gallery, map, hours, you know, the reviews and whatnot. So I guess we could create a, a URL for it. Um, you know, we already have homes. What? No, it's not. No, it's not. I switched it. Mind your business, boy. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. As soon as this makes its way to our website here, I will uh, pretty much end it and open it up for questions. All right, questions. It's taking forever. Good golly, Miss Molly. Taking too long, kid. Let's go. Clearly, I go to our website all the time, but it's got all the cookies. <laughs> That's great. It's working on Janice's computer. All right, so that's fun. All right, let's try this one more time. Homes by JeremyAndJanice.com. Cricket, cricket. Okay, take my word for it. Go on your own computer and Google Homes by Jeremy. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. All right, that didn't work. All right. So, yeah, any questions? Google my business. I think that's everything. I think I covered everything. Let's see. Users, okay, you can add a user, create an ad. Okay, so yeah, we didn't really cover that. Um, <laughs> have you ever gone to Vegas? <laughs> I'm gonna say it like that. Um, I'm not skilled in the art of creating ads. I uh, look at it as like going to Vegas. Um, I go to Vegas, it's fun. All the bells and whistles ring and everything like that. And I lose like 10, 15, 20, $25, just like that. Um, I've done ads on, on, on Google My Business and whatnot, and I lose 10, 15, $25, just like that um, with nothing to show for it. So, um, I'm sure there's other people who can, you know, set this up and pay per click and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not that guy. So I'm not going to go into explaining the, the ads at all. Okay. What else? Sports settings. What does settings do? Let's click on that. I'm hearing something. Nope. Oh, just kidding. Okay. So more settings. Yeah, you just type it. Customer messages. Okay, so the, you could just click this, the, the, you know, customer reviews, right? If you don't want them to show up on your site, click it, it'll turn it off. Questions and answers, booking, quotes, photos, all that fun stuff, business profile, health. Ooh, I want to know that. Insights. Okay, questions, questions, questions. Anyone? Bueller, Bueller. No? All right. Well, thank you so much for attending this week's Coffee with the Broker. I really appreciate all of you showing up and all of your time. Hopefully, you got some value out of this. Wait, who did you say you get your phone numbers from? So, um, I use, you know, if you, if you start with the end in mind, right? Your, your cell phone number is not the best number to give out to everyone, right? Because eventually you're going to 
grow and you're going to have a team and all that fun stuff, right? So either you're going to have to um, get rid of your cell phone number and, and just forward it to like a business line or something like that, or you're going to have to start with a different way. So I use um, follow up boss um, for $69 a month. It's got the CRM and all the stuff in there. I'm not endorsing it in any way. I'm just saying that's what I personally use. Um, and it's got a phone number that comes with my account. If I add on more people um, and they all have phone numbers and whatnot, it will go you know, to whoever customer belongs to. So that's the nice thing about that. Um, but yeah, I'm just not there yet to have people on my team or anything like that. So uh, anybody else, any other questions? Cricket, cricket. Never heard Freddie so quiet. It's kind of uh, eerie. I got one more question. <laughs> it's like I got Somebody's a got a question, go ahead. Hey, Jim, you said that um, I guess you have to have like a Gmail account for the actual business. But if you have like a personal Gmail, can you just set up a business under that? Or does it have to be, or does the business have to have its own Gmail account? No, sir. Um, I don't, I don't have like a, a business Gmail or anything like that. I only have personal Gmail accounts. Okay. I've had business Gmail accounts before in the past and, and paid for it. And it's just, to me, it's, it's, it's a hassle. I mean, the cool thing is you could have like, you know, Jeremy at Jeremy you know, so it looks, a, I guess, a little bit more professional, but then, you know, I don't know. It depends on where you want to go and what you want to do. Can I set up more than one business under my profile? Um, yes. Okay. I guess the question would be, why would you want to? Um, if I have, uh, like, the real estate business, if I have, like, another small business that I do some other things with that I have like more than just more than just one business profile. Absolutely. Okay. And we've 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 done um other emails throughout the years and whatnot. Um because when I when I when I get, originally got back into real estate, um it was just me, myself and I. So it was just Jeremy Lee Porter one at gmail.com. And then when Janice and I had joined forces again. It was uh, Porter RE Group at gmail.com. And the profile I was, sent, I was showing you was off of that Porter RE Group, but now we use Jeremy and Janice at gmail.com. But every single one of those Gmails filter into the Jeremy and Janice at gmail.com. So you could just forward it, you know, if you set up other businesses too and you want like this email for this business and this email for this business, you could just always forward it to the one Gmail. So you have one inbox to look at and not multiple inboxes to look at because that drives me nuts. Um, but, you know, it depends on how you want to do it. And, you know, maybe you want to have that separateness. But you don't need to have it separate. Freddie is showing us something. Yeah, I just want to remind you guys that um, starting in nine minutes, did I say 10 o'clock? It was 10 o'clock for today, right? With Todd, yes, sir. ten o'clock. So in nine minutes, we are having. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how you can find it, and you can uh, register for it if you can't find the invitation in your emails. Actually, the email would look like this. You all got it because I got it, and it came to my agent email, uh, or personal email, I should say. So you guys should have all gotten it, and just click on one of the register buttons. If not, go open up RSA. Click on view calendar. And the easiest way to find it, because everything in the nation is going to pop up, is in your search bar, type in Todd for Todd Sumney, our chief industry officer. And here he's going to see the date. Today's Tuesday, 10 a.m., 2022 real estate business planning. Click on that. And on the right, you will have the page there to register. Let me get this out of the way. And you'll see right here. And just click on register. And it'll take you to our RSA page, sign in, and it'll let you register. Okay. So that starts in seven minutes. All right. 
And just as a reminder, um, Orlando, and you don't have to be an agent in Orlando to attend. Um, you know, someone might view it as a good idea to network with other agents from other areas might be a good idea to get some referrals. So if you're in uh, or want to attend the Orlando uh, Holiday Mixer, it is Thursday at Rocco's Tacos, um, 4 to 6 p.m., 4 to 7, 4 to 6, 4 to 7, something like that. Or until we go home. How's that? Yeah, I like it. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Freddie, do you have anything else to add? Um, nope. I think we covered it all today. Thanks, Jeremy. This was great. I, le I actually learned some things here because I had no idea about these Google pages and how they work. All right. Good stuff. Well, we got we got one. We got one then. That was helpful. That's good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Happy